smoke a big fatty. Okay, and don't worry, this fatty isn't just legal in Colorado and Washington. It's legal in all 50 states. And this is brought to you courtesy of my Uncle Paul, who is a true Southern, loves his sweet tea, and loves to say, say, look here, look here. All right, let me show you what you need. Okay, first what you're going to need is two pounds of pork sausage, a pound of bacon, cheese, some barbecue rub, some barbecue sauce, about half of a uh, yellow pepper and Mama, a red pepper, some, some jalapenos. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to start rolling up this fatty? All right, look here, look here. First, what you're gonna wanna do is slap down a piece of parchment paper, and I'm gonna show you guys how to weave some bacon. <laughs> okay, so, so lay down about or seven pieces of bacon, okay, like this, and you don't wanna overlap them. Okay, so you're just gonna kind of push them together there. Okay, so I'm making sure none of these are overlapping here. And the first step you're going to want to do, or the second step I should say, is take out every other piece, set it to the side. Okay, and then we're going to get a piece and lay it across here. And then replace those pieces. Okay, put these back here. And then what you're going to do is take the pieces that are now underneath and you're going to fold them back. Okay, and then we're going to get another piece. And then we're going to lay that across here. Fold these guys back over. I guess this is like weaving a basket. Just kidding. I don't know what that would be like. Okay, so do that here. Okay, so now we're going to take the other pieces that are underneath, fold those back, and just keep doing this. Okay, you got it? Okay, so we've got our woven bacon here, and now I'm going to show you guys the next Okay, step. so what you're going to want to do next is get another piece of parchment or wax paper, put it down here, and then what I already did here was I got a gallon size, size Ziploc bag, and I dumped my two pounds of sausage in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to form the sausage to the same size as a bag. Now look here, look here. The reason why we're doing this is because it's going to be a perfect square shape, just like my bacon there, okay? So just keep doing this until it's perfect shape. Okay, so now that our sausage is a nice shape of the bag, we're gonna, I went ahead and cut the top off, and now we're just gonna cut along the sides here. And then what we're gonna do is, okay, just fold this back, and then we're gonna flip it over so it's out of the bag and onto the parchment paper. Okay, so now that I got it flipped on the parchment paper, it's almost time to roll her up. Okay, isn't this, isn't this clever? Who would have thought of that? Those southerners, they sure got stuff up their sleeves. They got good barbecue, uh, country music, and they always know when the moon's shining. <laughs> okay, so first what you're going to want to do is get your barbecue rub and just sprinkle some on here, a good amount. Okay, just however much you want. And then we're going to get our barbecue sauce. Now this is award-winning barbecue sauce from my Aunt Lisa and Uncle Heath. Okay, so if you don't have any of this, be jealous. Okay, so you're going to sprinkle some of this over the top here. Okay, so now that we have our barbecue rub and our Barbie, our award-winning barbecue sauce nicely distributed, um, now we're going to add the filling. Okay, now look here, look here. At this point, you can add whatever you want, but I'm going to add some cheese some bell peppers, and some jalapenos. So we're gonna start off with our layer of cheese. Okay, so now that we have our cheese on there, we're gonna uh, put some bell pepper on there. Okay, and last but not least, we got our jalapenos. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to roll this up. Okay, so the next step here is to start rolling it up. And the wax paper helps uh, roll it up a little easier. Okay, so here's my roll here, which was a little difficult because I think I put too much filling in there, but that's okay, barbecuing ain't easy, all right? So, oh, and I put some more of that rub on the bacon too. So what I'm gonna do here is start rolling it up. Oh yeah, see, here we go. It's falling apart a little bit, that's all right. It's gonna be covered in bacon. Okay, 
So here it is. All right, I slapped it on the pan. Now look here, look here. Here's a notorious TIP of the day. If you have a pan like this with the little drain holes, that would be perfect to put this on because then it's not just sitting in all that grease, okay? So next what you're gonna do is put some tin foil over the top. And normally what you would do with this is put it in a smoker, but I don't have one, so we're gonna put it in our oven at 250 for about two and a half hours, okay? You know you're a redneck when you use your oven as a smoker. <laughs> okay, here it is. Okay, so here it is. It looks beautiful. Now, um, it took about two and a half hours, but you can stick a thermometer in it and you want it to be about 170 for pork. Okay, now look here, look here. We want this bacon more crispy, so we're gonna put it under the broiler for just a few minutes and make sure you watch it because you don't want it to burn, okay? And then I'll come back and it'll be nice and crispy. All right, here it is. Now uh, we got our bacon all nice and crispy, just how we like it. And I only kept it under the broiler for about four minutes because it'll burn if you uh, keep it any longer and make sure you're really careful when you're taking it out because that's a pool of grease down there. You don't want to spill it on yourself, okay? So, um, you can slice this in like, uh, inch size pieces and just eat it like that. Or you can put it on a bun, okay? So, I'm going to, we've, uh, we rolled it, we smoked it, and now we're going to pass it around. Alright, I'm going to slice it. Alright, here it is. It's all sliced up and ready to eat. Should I dare even say eat this with a salad? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take a bite here and try this. Big old fatty. So good. <laughs> this is so delicious. Um, sorry, I took too big of a piece. Thank you, Uncle Paul, for the heart attack. No, that's really, really good. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, and remember one thing, look here, look here. Thank you, Uncle Paul, for the recipe. This is dedicated to you. Big fatty, roll it up. Okay, I uh, hope you guys like this. Uh, go to my, check out my Facebook page, Ava's Flavor, and like it, and my YouTube, like that too. All right, see, I'll make something healthy next time. Okay, bye. See you next time.